How do you rough in a mini split in a new construction home? Today I'm going to talk about rough in box. Rough in box is made by Polar. I'm going to give you a close up view, show you the features of the rough in box, and also leave a link in the description so you can get to it and order one if you want to. Behind me on the wall is a rough in box, and there's a cover for the rough in box, which I'm fixing to remove. The cover is used so that you can access the rough in box. If you have this installed on an interior um, wall, like right here, you could come over here, you can just spin it. Uh, this right here, you can come to the back side, pull the cover off, and you can actually access your rough in box from the back. And this is great because if you have something you need to get to after the house is a finish, then you have that cover, and that's a feature of the rough in box. Now, uh, let's remove this cover here, and I'm going to show you that the rough in box, uh, after you cut it open here, because it's got the edges, you can use just a razor knife to simply open it up. You've got all your connections you need to hook the main split up, okay? You've got your copper connections, you've got your signal cable, you have your power cable, and all that is required to hook up the wall mount air handler, okay? Uh, if you take a close look here, what's great about the rough-in box is I have these. I can turn these around on each side, and this is how I can securely mount to the joist in the wall, okay? So you can mount it to the studs there, and then you've got your uh, pieces that you can cut out to run your or route your line sets inside the rough-in box. I got a couple of fittings here. I can cut these off and then I can run my wire in there. And then on the bottom, we've got our drain. So we've got our drain connection. You can just use PVC cutters or a razor knife. Cut this and then put your drain fitting over that. I do suggest to secure it somehow with a strap, hanger, or to glue it. Now, this is the master bedroom. This is for the wall mount and the master bedroom. Let's go downstairs and look at the wall mount or the rough in box for the basement. And then I'm going to take you outside and I'm going to give you another example of why the rough-in box is wonderful. But I'll go ahead and tell you, it's so that I don't have to have as much line sets, uh, which is my copper and my uh, wire connections, on the outside or exterior of the wall. So it keeps it hidden out of sight and I don't have to use as much line hide cover on the outside to make it aesthetically pleasing. Now, let me put this cover back on here and then let's go downstairs. If you guys have any questions, definitely let me know, and uh, I'll try to answer those if you'll just leave them in the comments. I'll try to help you guys. Uh, this is a great way to keep this rough-in box hidden until we get ready. After the walls are painted, I'll come back in, we'll install the wall mount air handler, and then if I ever need to get to my connections, if you've got a cover on the exterior side of the wall, then you can easily access your connections. Now. Let's go ahead and go downstairs, take a look at the wall mount in the basement, and then I'll bring you guys outside, okay? So this is a video before they put all the sheetrock on the wall here, where the rough-in box is in the basement. Wall mount's going to go right there uh, where the rough-in box is, but you can see on the back of the wall here, we've got where our cover would go, but I'm not going to put a cover on this one. Uh, but the drain line is going out of the bottom of the rough-in box, and then it's going over through the studs down to where the drain is going to terminate. And I am so glad I have many split rough-in boxes to make my life easier. All right, so we're in the basement. This is the other rough-in box. This is for the wall mount that we're going to install here on top of this rough-in box. And this is gonna be for the basement. I'm gonna go on the other side of the wall and this is where the cover would be placed. And then you can take the cover off. You can easily access your fittings that you're going to have to install your wall mount air handler. Now I'm gonna show you that the drain drops down, goes over here into this wall, and we've got a place where we can gravity drain. And we can see this right here is our three-quarter PVC pipe, and that right there is going to be our drain for that wall mount air handler. So I don't have to have a pump, which is good because we don't have to have an extra accessory, and that's something you have to maintenance, and something that also causes a little bit of a sound, like a noise, and I don't really like that. So let's go outside real quick, and I'll show you where those lines are coming out. So this right here, 
This is where our lines come out, right? But if we didn't have the rough-in box, they would come out up there in between the windows, and that would just be more line sets that don't necessarily have to be on the outside. Because of the rough-in box, we keep our lines inside the wall. They come out down here closer to the outdoor unit, which is more aesthetically pleasing. Guys, all right, so I want you to know where to get the information on the rough-in box. So what you're going to do is you're going to type in market air on Google, and you're going to click where it says rough-in box, okay? Uh, once you click rough-in box, you're going to be able to see the rough-in box that I used in this new construction home, and you're going to see the price. Uh, you see that it says multi-drain position rough-in box, $53.00. And then the cover plate is $6. It says designed specifically to conform with North American construction standards. Rough-in box protects line sets, cable, wiring, drain lines during other construction phases such as drywalling and painting prior to final installation of the evaporator. So this is where to get the information. Links in the description, guys. Thank you so much for watching so before we end the video, I've got to show you what a wall mount air handler looks like. So I'm going to Samsung HVAC's website because this is the brand that I highly recommend and I install, carry, I sell, and I service this equipment on a day-to-day -day basis. I think it's the best aesthetically pleasing mini splits on the market. I also believe that they have the best support. And uh, this is a one unit that I install quite a bit. This is a Quantum 2.0. I install Free Joint Multi, which is a multi-port condenser that can handle, you know, upwards of five indoor air handlers. And the Quantum has a built-in Wi-Fi. It's aesthetically pleasing, and it's a pretty easy to install piece of equipment. Now, this is the installer manual. I'm just showing you uh, basically uh, the wall mount there. See that? And that is a picture, minimum clearances for the indoor unit. You scroll on down, you see the bracket there. And uh, this right here is a picture of, see this hole saw to drill one hole at a selected location, 15 degree downward angle so the drain holes will properly drain. Uh, we're using a rough-in box, so we are making our install pretty easy from the beginning. So anyways, all right, let's continue. Guys, if you have any questions, let me know. I'm Tad. You're watching Tips for Technicians. I'll keep you cool if you let me.